cool. And the best part about cooking is putting on my super cute apron. Hi guys, Emily Jane here. And welcome all new subscribers to my channel. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. So today we're actually gonna do a really awesome video um, on a sweet potato chocolate cake. So this will be the first time that I make it, so you can experience this journey with me. Whether we make it or fail really bad, we'll see how we go. But it is 100% vegan. For those guys who are still chasing the collab video with me and Ant, that's on my other anime channel. The links will be down below um, for that video directly. Alrighty, so let's get started. Alrighty guys, so what you'll need is some cooked and peeled sweet potatoes, some soft icing sugar, some maple syrup, some vanilla extract, coconut oil and coconut sugar, some wholemeal spilt flour, some dark chocolate chips, but you'll have to check whether they are vegan or not by checking if there's milk solids on the back. Alrighty, so first off you want to oil your pan with some coconut oil and then make like a little baking paper circle for the bottom of your baking tray. My baking tray is a little bit too big, but anyway, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention vinegar. You will need one tablespoon of vinegar. So pop that in there. Then you want to pop the sweet potatoes, cooked sweet potatoes, into a cup or a bowl that you can blend in. Then you want to add one half a cup of water. Then you want to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. It sounds like a lot and I really think it is a lot, but you can't really taste it at the end. Okay, I know all of these ingredients seem really weird, but it does work out all together. Next, you'll need some maple syrup. You want one quarter of a cup of maple syrup. Alrighty, so you want to chuck that into a blender and blend it up as much as you can and just kind of puree it a little bit. Even if you pulse it for a little bit, it's probably a little bit better for all the nutrients inside the sweet potatoes. Alright guys, mistake number one. We just discovered that there is milk solids in these dark chocolate chips. Normally with dark chocolate, you're playing it pretty safe. And I must have forgot to read the ingredients or, I don't know, just been dumb and didn't get it. So we had to go back to the store and get this dairy-free chocolate. Um, I've eaten this before and I've checked the ingredients a billion times. There is definitely no milk in this one. So we're gonna make, we're gonna just cut, cut these up into little pieces and make them little chocolate chips. Next, we've got the dry ingredients. So I'm adding my flour, one whole cup. Then we've got a cup of coconut sugar. Next we're adding a teaspoon of salt. After that you want to grab your chocolate chips, half a cup, and pop them into the mixture. Then you want a tablespoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of bicarb soda, then you want a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder or half a cup if you're game. <laughs> then you want to mix up the dry ingredients because hey it looks like fun. Then we've added the wet ingredients. Oh look at that. It kind of looks sickening and gross at the same time as maybe delicious and inviting. I don't know. I'm trying hard here. Then we get my sonic mixing skills and mix that all up together. Surprisingly, it turns out to look a lot like a normal cake mix. Just pretty crazy. You can't even tell there's sweet potato inside it. So now we want to pour it into a pan. So guys, I'd just like to quickly mention here that some of these ingredients might sound fairly expensive, but they all are very staple foods, which means that if you do buy them, you'll probably use them over and over again, and it's vegan. So, you know, you're helping the environment, you're helping the animals on top of that as well as making an amazing cake. So definitely give it a shot. Popping it into the oven for 280 degrees, cooking it for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops, bringing it out and it looks like a giant pancake. <laughs> Turns out to be a very big chocolate pancake. I will decorate later. 
Next, we'll start on the icing sugar. It is really important that you have this solid white coconut oil. You don't want it liquid it, liquefied at all. So you can just pop it in the fridge and it will harden up. Then you want to add your icing sugar. Now, to begin with, you can add one or two cups, but you can go all the way up to six cups of icing sugar. And surprisingly, yes, you're going to need it. You want about half a cup of coconut oil. And you just want to blend the two together, just mixing it up. Then you want half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt and that's it guys and it actually tastes so good I was like licking the cup at the end <laughs> and we want to spread it all over our little pancake cake <laughs> and then maybe add some strawberries like I did fortunately I didn't film the final product but it oh it looks so good so because I'm vegan, and I'm obviously going to say that all vegan food is super amazing and super awesome. I decided to get my non-vegan friend, Natalie, here to try our sweet potato cake to give you her opinion on what she thinks of it. I'm so scared. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ah! It's coconut icing too. Yum. Does it taste okay? You're the first person to try it. It tastes good? It tastes good. And that guys was the end of my video. So it is a sweet potato cake and it does taste really, really awesome. We did make a couple of mistakes along the way and hence why it kind of looks like a cake pancake sort of thing. But all you have to do is double the ingredients or even put them into little cupcake pans and make cupcakes instead. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of this video and if you'd try the cake at home. Alrighty, talk to you later, bye.